Hey there. Welcome to the Ask Stevie Show. This is for YouTube and it's a behind the scenes look at the show being recorded. So you get to see me get ready a little bit. I do my breath work first. <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> all right. Shake it all out. Burp it all out. All right. Let's hit record on Audacity and get going. I like to imagine the theme music in my head before I begin. Welcome back. So glad you're here. Thank you for joining me once again. Today's question is, is milk a scam? Is milk a scam? I wasn't sure what is meant by this question exactly. I think it's referring to the idea that the mass dairy industry is like unnecessary, unnatural. So along those lines, However, I'm going to share two sides to the milk coin. And you're going to you're going to get the most balanced holistic perspective that's completely free of any ideological BS. So, first of all, in nature, animals share their milk all the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mother animals quite frequently have too much milk for their offspring and they will readily share it not only with other members of the tribe but it's been documented i can personally say at least three or four times i've seen it documented i don't believe it was doctored footage i've seen animals sharing their milk with others and i'm not talking about people i've seen a lot of videos of off-grid farms where people have relationships with animals the animals need to be milked. It's painful if they're not, it builds up. So if there's no babies there, it's a service. And then what are you going to do with the milk? So I say raw local milk is a superfood. It's a physical superfood because it's got enzymes. It's got phytonutrients from the local grasses and herbs that were sun raised. That animal is healthy. It's got exercise. It's got people and other animals in its life. And it's it's got good energy behind it, you know? Um, so I've seen a lot of particularly skin conditions and immune conditions, very, very like 50% progress overnight or more type stuff in case studies happening with raw local milk, not only cow milk, but goat milk as well. I think sheep's milk as well. I've, so I, I've seen a number of uh, case studies around raw Raw is like the hardest word for me to pronounce because I have an R problem as it is. R problem. Raw local milk. So that's one end of the spectrum. It's a superfood. Other end of the spectrum is that <clears throat> they've taken everything healthy about it and inverted it. So the dairy industry separates mothers from their children soon after birth as a matter of systematic mass trauma, whatever the ends are, that's what's going on. So imagine these are a mammalian species. Cows play around like dogs do. If you ever met a cow, we have Kinder Farm Park right down the road from this recording studio. And they got about five or six cows. I visit them a lot. They're extremely friendly and cool. So the dairy industry separates the babies, kills most of them. And then the mothers just sit there in a cage that they can't move an inch, suffering the loss of their children and grieving and crying. And they're hooked up to machines. They're not milked by human hands, which would feel way better and more loving. Hooked up, they're hooked up to machines. And so all the energy is backwards. There's no grass-fed nutrients in here. There's just GMO corn. And there's pus and stress hormones and fear hormones and cortisol. And there's the pain of loss in that milk. It's meant for a baby that was taken away and killed. 
And so just as healthy as milk can be and should be, most, especially non-organic, but even organic, most milk you buy in a grocery store is just as bad as raw local dairy from happy animals is good. And so they make, <clears throat> I gotta, and so the regime makes this whole conflict about, are you pro-dairy or are you anti-dairy? Are you pro-dairy or are you anti? Are you vegan? Are you vegetarian? Blah, blah, blah. Well, the question is, where are you getting your milk from? Is your milk nourishing and energizing you? Or is it filling the cells in your body with liquid stress and liquid fear and liquid grief that you now have to feel and purge and process? And you say, I'm fucked up. Something's wrong with me. Where are these emotions coming from? Something must be wrong. I can't let go of this. Blab, no. You're drinking a scam. Yes, milk is a scam. And no, it's not. That's the value of independent thought. You can cut right through the bullshit and you can see exactly what's being hidden and what's being hijacked. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. I hope the rest of your week is easy, effortless, and smooth. You will claim victories. I appreciate you being here and listening. Take care. That was a really good episode, YouTube. Maybe my, maybe my best episode. Yeah, thank you for listening and for watching the behind the scenes video view as well. Appreciate you. Comment below, description below. If you want to get in touch with me, reach out to me. I don't bite. The description has a number of ways you can get in touch depending on what you'd like to do. Thank you and peace.